some folks. Today I'm going to go over my top 15 picks out of this whole line. All these people right here. I'm going to pick the top 15 ones that I like for whatever reason I see fit. And I'm going to give a little detail on each. So let's start off on number 15. We got Triclops. Look at this guy right here. Released in 2020. This is a bad looking man pajama right here. He looks like he's just ready to just fuck you up if need be. You know what I mean? Let's take a look at the back. You can see the other two eyes that rotate around his head and whatnot. This thing is nice. And this is a rare thing also. Costs a lot of money. Look at him. He is ready to fuck anybody up. If they want the smoke, he's got the smoke. Next up, number 14, we got Trap Jaw, released in 2020. It's another badass looking figure, ready to fight. Look at that gun and that gun on his arm. Can change it to a hook, can change it to a couple other things. That shit is right there, and look at them eyes. He's angry, ready to get you. I don't know what is of all these uh, bad guy figures, but they some badass looking figures. Look at his nice belt around his body. I like the Mitch Matt's colors. They just seem to make everything pop. You know what I'm saying? It looks right. If you want to put a little cord right there in his head right there, you can do so if you want. All right, it's time for the next figure. At number 13, we got Webstore, released in 2021. I like this figure because he's got that hook. He's got a little backpack and shit. You know what I mean? We'll hook him up somewhere, make it look like he's crawling up there, some crawling action. This your man right here. He's got that blaster with him. He means business. Look at them teeth and them eyes, all them, all them eyes on his head. Look at this casket looking backpack and shit. I like this figure. Nice original, ain't nobody else got that backpack but him. Webster is your man. If you want him to come up in your shit, he's ready. I had seen some custom pieces you could get to add some extra legs to his backpack, but he's a badass the way he is. Up next, we got Grizzlar at number 12, at least in 2020. This dirty looking motherfucker right here is a real furry figure. It looks like he smells, but he doesn't. Stinko is the one that smells. This figure is nice. I like that he's furry. I like that he looks different. There ain't no other figure like him. Look at it from the back is all the time where the body begins. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take all that shit off. You can see where it's at, but they put it on right. Oh, the fur right there. Look at that. Oh, close. Falls wherever it wants. Luckily, this figure looks good. There's some other ones with the hair it gets all smushed up. It don't look right. Up next, we got Merman. Released in 2020 in the Lords of Power 5 pack. This one is extra detail. Look at the details on the groin right there, all the bubbles and shit. This shit is nice. His sword is colored in. He's got that silly looking face, but I like it. Bubbles on his butt. All in all, it's a very detailed figure. Very detailed. Look at the head scope. That shit is nice. And they really killed it in this five pack. This merman right here is definitely one of them figures that you want on your squad. I like it. Up next, we got Mosquito, released in 2021. This deluxe figure. Look at him right there from the rip, from the gate. He looks like a badass. He's got the flowing blood all up in his body. Big ass beak on him that used to suck the life out of his foes. This man is a beast. Man, I like this figure. Look at the back. It pretty much simply him saying besides the button right there. Pump the blood through. I really like his boots, so. There's some husky ass boots. I'm gonna use them on a custom figure. You'll see in my episode one. Right there with that extra accessory right there on his face. Mosquito is a beast. And that's why I picked him in that spot. In spot number nine, we got Leo Faker. Released in 21 in the exclusive two-pack. This motherfucker right here, he is rare. Super rare. 300 plus dollars rare. If you ain't getting back then, you gonna pay. But boy, is he worth it. 
I went over this figure in my previous ranking video of all the He-Men. He's not that much different from your standard faker, but the little bit of difference that they got with the mask and the extra accessories and the belt and shit, it makes it worth it for me, and this is a badass figure to have. We about halfway through it. We up at spot the babe with Camel Khan. Released this year, not too long ago, 2022. This badass looking figure. From the gold boots, to the gold claws, to the extra accessories, to the extra head swaps. This is that figure to get. Man, he's a badass. I did a video on him. He's got all types of special powers with him when he's in this form. But the detail they put on him. Wah! I like this figure a lot. This ended up selling out about 30 minutes, which ain't too bad, you know what I mean? So if you got it then, congratulations. But if you want to get it, you better get it now. Don't wait on this shit. Camel Khan is out there for your ass. Up next, we got the SDCC 2019 He-Man. The two-pack, the one with the knife. Oh, yes, the one with the little shit knife. I like this He-Man a lot. I put a beer in his head. He's drunk He-Man. But this is the best He-Man because it's got the knife and it don't got the sword of power. I don't give a shit. You know how many swords of powers I got with all these other He-Man in the line? But I only got one with the shake knife. And that's why I like this He-Man. Up next, we got Hordak from the PowerCon exclusive released in 2021, the cartoon version. This Hordak right here is a badass looking figure. Look at the drill gun thing on his hand. He got the nice cave on the back. He got the nice blue from the cartoon, the blue skin. This Hordak is the one to get. But like the others, it ain't cheap. I'm exclusive, they're exclusive for a reason. Going into the final five, we got Keldor. Released in 2021 in the Rise of Evil 2 pack. This figure right here, the only Skeletor whose face ain't fucked up. You know what I'm saying? He ain't a bad looking motherfucker, look at it. He got the nice superhero looking boots on and shit. Big ass cape, long flowing mane on his head. He's a badass looking figure. Right the way he is, the special two-tone Havoc staff and the power sword. This is a true OG Skeletor figure. Up next, we got Scare Glow, released in 2020. This figure is in the number four spot because this bitch glows in the dark. So no other Motu line figures so far glow in the dark quite like this one does. I like this shit a lot. Look at it. Look like he can be Skeletor's half brother and shit. You know what I'm saying? He's got that nice cape that looks like it's made out of fabric, but it's only plastic. This guy glows real bright. I ain't feel like doing it, but just trust me, it does. Up next in the number three spot, we got Kodar, this exclusive figure. I slept on it, I ain't get him at first. I ended up having to pay like 65 bucks to get him, but I'm glad I did. Look at them eyes, you can't see his eyes, because he's a bad man pajama. Right there, he's got a slot for his weapon in the back. Kodar is out here dressed to impress all dripped out in gold and shit. Man, I like this figure a lot. If you want a badass figure, look at them horns. Kodar is the way to go. But up next, we got number two. Now, who else you think is gonna be? Wonder. Wonder is a badass looking figure. Not only is he decked out in the Zodak vest, all in black, he's got the exclusive black boots. He got the black wristbands. He got the wooden ass looking weapons. Look at that shit. He has Peter Pan looking sword, but I don't care. Cause Wonder is ready to put in that work anytime, any place, anywhere. This exclusive figure. This man sold out in two minutes. Then Mattel had to bring him back because people was ready to storm the castle, you know what I'm saying? Kordor is a bad man, but Jabba. But at number one, we got the order engineering Skeletor. Look at this figure. He's looking invisible. His ass is dead. This is my spirit of Skeletor, the ghost of Skeletor. That's why I got that string on his body. As soon as I'm done this video, I'ma hook his ass back up. You know what I'm saying? This figure right here is the one to get. But of all exclusive figures, 
He ain't cheap. Way over three hundred dollars if you want this figure today. But must I say, it is worth it. It is worth it. Look, you can see his bones and shit. He got an invisible power sword, invisible havoc staff. This is my number one figure, indeed. I'm glad I got his ass in my collection. Skeletor, you are a beast. Well, folks, that's all 15, top 15 figures that I choose for whatever reason they some badass looking figures. It's sad that it had to be mostly villains, but hey, most of all these villains look like some badasses, you know what I'm saying? But it only takes one badass hero to fuck them all up. And that's my drunk He-Man. But besides all that, I appreciate y'all checking this out. We're going to go into 2023. Hopefully they bring us plenty more figures in store. But until then, folks, i catch y'all next time. See y'all later. Thanks for watching. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for Mr. Home Arcade to take his ass home to his arcade. Because... Get it? You get it right. Ah, oh, shit. I'm out of here. <laughs>